This is the mechanism of essential hypertension. You can see all the contributors to blood pressure here, and each of these can cause some component of essential hypertension. I like to break it down into early stage and later stage changes. In the early stages, you have a multifactorial etiology that leads to overactivity of the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system that then causes overactivity of the sympathetic nervous system and increases your cardiac output. So in the beginning, something is causing your body to work harder. It could be uh, salt concentrations, it could be stress, it could be high cortisol, all leading to high RAS, which leads to high sympathetic activation and a high cardiac output. In the later stages of hypertension, you'll have an increase in vascular smooth muscle intracellular calcium, which leads to vascular hypertrophy and increases in your systemic vascular resistance. So this is your blood vessels kind of responding to the higher cardiac output, and this normalizes your cardiac output back to normal levels. So your cardiac output goes back to normal levels, but the difference is that the pressure is higher because you have this increase in systemic vascular resistance.